Spiritual Contemplation of Christ's Suffering, a Lenten Devotion, brought to you by Steadfast Press. Believe, teach, confess. Visit us at steadfastlutherans.org. Monday, Lent 5. Read Job 1, 6 through 22. In all this, Job did not sin or charge God with wrong. Job 1, 22. There are two types of temptation. There are temptations to evil. These temptations are from Satan. The goal of the temptation to evil is to destroy us. The second type of temptation is the temptation to good. This temptation comes from God. The goal of this temptation is to test and strengthen our faith. In Job, we see both temptations. The devil seeks to destroy Job. God seeks to prove that Job is blameless and upright, who fears God and turns away from evil. Job did not commit a particular sin. This is the theological problem of Job's friends. While seeking to comfort him, they end up accusing Job of committing some heinous sin. No, Job was tempted because no one was like him in all the earth. He was blameless and upright. He believed in our Savior God, and Job passed the test. He did not sin or charge God with wrong. There was no one on earth like Jesus, who was blameless and upright. He too was tempted. The devil tempted Christ to sin by coming off the cross. God the Father also tempted Christ to good. His temptation was not to strengthen faith, but to save us who believe from sin, death, and the devil. Even as he was forsaken by his Father, Jesus trusted in the Father. He did not sin nor charge God with wrong. What shall we learn from the temptation of Job and Jesus? First, the innocent suffer temptation. Job was relatively innocent in that he had not committed a particular sin for punishment. He was tempted because he was righteous by faith. Jesus was innocent in an absolute sense. He committed no sin. Both suffered temptation. Therefore, we should expect temptation and not, like Job's friends, torture ourselves by obsessively looking for particular heinous sins. Second, we should not sin or charge God with wrong in temptation. This temptation is for our good, because God either allows it or sends it to strengthen us. Heavenly Father, you tested both Job and Christ with temptation. Although we are assailed by it, defend us and give us the victory over it. Amen. Come back tomorrow for another Lenten devotion from Steadfast Lutherans.